The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, at a combined weight of 520 pounds, William Wildman Wolf and Baltimore E. D. The Femme Fatale. Partner from New York, weighing in at 220 pounds. The it's now superstar. time for the six man tag team match that I think we've all been waiting for. Well, I can't speak for everybody, Michael, but I can tell you that I've looked forward to this one ever since it was announced. Osaka, Japan, weighing in at 230 pounds, Cole Tom Matsuda. Now time for our huge six-man tag team match. And I can't think of any competitors I'd rather see go at it right now than these six superstars. This one's going to be great. Six-man tag team action coming up next, guys. And both these teams come into this match incredibly confident. But unfortunately for one of them, they're going to have their confidence crushed by the end of this one.
their partner from Amsterdam in the Netherlands, weighing in at 340 pounds, Big Bram. Ladies and gentlemen, we have six of WWE's top stars set to compete here in this one. They're definitely top stars, Michael. I'd agree there. But they're also some of the most explosive personalities WWE has seen in a very long time, which should add an extra element of fun to this one. These two superstars are set to lock up for their respective teams as this six-man tag gets underway. Six superstars, two teams, and let's face facts. We can see anything happen here. These guys are undoubtedly going to give us a show here tonight. Oh, they all clap. Tag. Up top. Splash. Massive. Oh, nasty impact. Oh, continuing to punish them. Six-man tag team matches have been a staple of competition since the early days of sports entertainment. Two teams of three compete against one another under traditional tag team rules. Stipulations can be added like no disqualification, two out of three falls, elimination, falls count anywhere, or whatever else someone can think of. The matches can also be held in a caged environment. Drop kick! Beautiful! Six-man tags can be fought under so many different types of stipulations. Teams can be part of a faction, where three superstars have aligned because of a common interest. The most crucial aspect to a six-man tag team being successful is that trio's ability to act as one cohesive unit, three individuals working collectively at all times. So much can take place during a six-man tag match. Regardless of what type of match the teams of three are competing in, the members of that team must be on the same page. Oftentimes, the teams who have the best continuity are the most successful. In 2016, the New Day found themselves in the middle of a sick and twisted rivalry with the Wyatt family. Things escalated to the point where Bray Wyatt invited the New Day to do battle at the Wyatt family compound. New Day accepted, but what followed was something no one expected or will ever be able to forget. Tag made. What's in store here? Drop toe hold. Oh, and Enziguri! Corey, we talked about six-man tag matches, and earlier you talked about one that caught the attention of the entire sports entertainment world. The New Day fought for survival amongst the darkness of the Wyatt family compound in a battle where pickaxes and cinder blocks were used as weapons and automobiles were used as battering rams. The New Day versus the Wyatts at the Wyatt family compound was not your traditional six-man tag match. But it showed what can happen. Oh no, we know what this is. When a superstar is in a six man match, one of the most important things to remember is knowing when to tag out and get the fresh member of your team in the ring. We've talked about continuity many times on this. Whoa, oh, he, he works his way out. A bit of a Houdini job right there. spoke about when a superstar is in six-man action and how crucial it is that they have the presence of mind to realize when they need to tag out. Not everyone who competes as part of a six-man team has the ability to do that. We've seen many times over the years that a superstar's inability to do that has cost their team the match. We've also seen over the years that not all superstars play well with others. Some competitors are so dedicated to singles careers that when they are put in a six-man team, they become a bit lost. That's when a mistake could be made, and it could be very costly. 
inching closer to and he tags his partner in. Momentum has certainly shifted here, Michael. What a clothesline! Ouch! In WWE, there's as much chaos outside the ring as there is inside the ring. Try working with Saxton at ringside. Wicked clothesline! Double team. And a hip toss. Oh. Comes up big with the reversal. Gets the tag. There are instances when a six-man tag match will feature a team where superstars have not always seen eye to eye or are in the midst of a disagreement. When that's the case, someone on the team must step up and be the voice of reason so the trio can fuck. This could end it in a hurry. Is he done? Corey, earlier you talked about what needs to happen. Oh, and he slips out. Wow, looked to me like he had it locked in pretty good. I guess not. Ooh, what impact. Tagged in. Boy, he is rolling. comes in off the tag. he has left. He goes for the cover. He breaks the pin. What's this? Big slam. He's not going to like this. Here we go. Kinshasa. This one's over, guys. There's a pin now. And he stops the count. Over time, there have been various types of six-man teams that have been successful. There are family trios like the Guerreros, the Grams, the Andersons, and the Von Erichs. There have been members of factions who have also produced tremendous six-man teams like the Fabulous Freebirds, the Four Horsemen, the NWO, and D-Generation X. Oh, and he makes the tag. That was a game-changer right there, Michael. Oh, what a boot to the face! Byron, you mentioned some families and groups that created incredible six-man teams. Talking more about factions. Don't forget about the likes of the Hart Foundation, Evolution, the Wyatt Family, The Shield, and The New Day. These are only some of the trios who had unbelievable matches against a variety of adversaries. If we're talking about three men, the end may be near. Oh, 
nasty impact. But he's got to capitalize now. His shoulders are down. Pen's broken up. Something that is always important in a six-man match is having the ability to perform double-team moves. One of the things that successful six-man teams try and execute are double-team moves and then have the third team member perform a signature or finishing maneuver to deliver maximum impact to an opponent. Inverted DDT! And off the tag. Teamwork is always paramount in a six-man tag match. Superstars want to be able to have a level of teamwork where two members... Big move coming! Wait for it! Is he done? He fights his way free. But how much energy did he exhaust fighting his way off? And look at hung up by the sec. Get in there, left. Tagged in. Not where he wants to be right now. Hey, he got himself into this mess. He's got to get himself out of it now. He's not looking good here. Rather than continuing to absorb any more punishment, he might want to tag out here. This is where we find out who the better man is. And at this point, it could very well be either one of these guys. That's how close this thing is. Into the Hurricane Rana. Nicely done. He might have it. Oh, what a combo. Can he finish the job? Going for it all here. Nailed it. Incredible. He goes for the cover. Beautiful technique. the case in a six-man tag team match. Oftentimes, you see personal agendas eat their way into the action. Harsh impact. Boom! 
<laughs> He's on the defensive here. I think it's safe to say that the action so far in this six-man tag team match is exactly what we expected. When you put that much meat in the ring, somebody's going to get hurt. And unfortunately for him, he's the one on the receiving end of this inevitable beatdown. Still in a tough spot, Cole. Oh, no. Looking a little out of it up on that turnbuckle. Oh, this could very well be the beginning of the end. This might be it. Oh, my. Here's his moment, Michael. That could have been it right there. Nailed it. What's he got in mind? Swing neck breaker. Tagged in. Big move coming. Ooh. He's stumbling some now. He's not careful. This can snowball out of control for him in a hurry. Sounds to me like this crowd's a little shocked to see him on the receiving end here. And you know what? I kind of am too. But the question is, how much energy does his opponent have left? My guess is not much given what we've seen him go through so far in this match. He's in big trouble. What's gonna happen now? Ooh, what impact. What's he gonna do with it? Look out here! What a strike! Oh, here we go! Boom! What impact! Oh, he dodges out of the way. Irish whip! Here he goes! He's got the shoulders down. Two! What a cutter! Tagged in. Sit up, jawbreaker! You can pick up your teeth in the third row. There it is, the tag has been made. Oh, he needed that in the worst way, Michael. And now one more time. Boom! Just when you... Will this be enough? What a six-man tag match. Now let's get another look at those six superstars going head-to-head -to -head and toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Who could forget this? Check him out here. He ain't playing here. And here's the last piece of the puzzle. Here are your winners. William Wildman Wolf. Ultimo E. D. And the superstar. An amazing contest comes to a close following a decisive pinfall victory. To get the pinfall victory over such a high-quality opponent is incredibly impressive, Michael.